Mr. Putter and Tabby Ring the Bell by Cynthia Ryland. Chapter One, Crispy Fall. It was fall. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby loved fall. Mr. Putter liked the apples. Tabby liked the leaves. They both liked the crispy wind. And sometimes their neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry, brought them rhubarb trifle. They really liked that. Fall was fun. Chapter two, the school bell. One day, while Mr. Putter was raking leaves and Tabby was attacking leaves, they heard the school bell ring. Dong, dong, dong. Mr. Putter stopped raking. He looked at Tabby. I miss school, said Mr. Putter. I miss pencils and books. Tabby stopped attacking. She purred. I miss globes and erasers, said Mr. Putter. Dong, 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 went the bell. I would like to go back to school, said Mr. Putter, for just one day. Just then, Mrs. Teaberry's good dog, Zeke, ran by. Zeke was wearing half a cake on his head. The other half was inside Zeke. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. I have an idea, said Mr. Putter. Tabby purred and purred. She loved Mr. Putter's ideas. Chapter three, Mrs. Teaberry. Mr. Putter knocked on Mrs. Teaberry's door. Zeke stood beside Tabby. All of the cake was now inside Zeke. Mrs. Teaberry opened the door. There you are, she said. Yes, here I am, said Mr. Putter. No, I meant Zeke said Mrs. Teaberry. He stole the banana cake. That was banana cake? asked Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter looked sad. I love banana cake, he said. So does Zeke, said Mrs. Teaberry. <clears throat> Everyone looked at Zeke. Zeke looked happy. Zeke looked fun. Zeke looked showy. Mrs. Teaberry, said Mr. Putter, I have an idea. Oh, good, said Mrs. Teaberry, I love ideas. Do you love globes and erasers? Asked Mr. Putter. Pardon me, said Mrs. Teaberry. Mr. Putter began telling her his idea. Tabby purred and purred. Chapter four, Pet Tricks. The first grade teacher at the school thought it was a lovely idea. Show and tell, she said to Mrs. Teaberry on the phone. What a good idea. The children love cats and dogs. Do yours do tricks? Mrs. Teaberry looked at Zeke. He was wearing his water bowl. Sort of, said Mrs. Teaberry. Wonderful, said the teacher. Come right over. Mrs. Teaberry called Mr. Putter. It worked, she said. We're going to school. Hooray, said Mr. Putter. But the teacher wants pet tricks, said Mrs. Teaberry. Pet tricks, asked Mr. Putter. He looked at Tabby, who was napping in the soup pot. Uh-oh said Mr. Putter. Tabby knew how to nap. Tabby knew how to purr. But could Tabby do tricks? Chapter 
chapter five, Show and Tell. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke walked to the school. They stepped through the door. It smells just like school, said Mr. Putter. They found the first grade room. Mrs. Teaber straightened Zeke's tie. Mr. Putter patted Tabby's head. Then they went in. Mr. Putter was in heaven. It was a room filled with books and pencils and globes and erasers and best of all, children. The teacher told the children that Tabby and Zeke could do tricks. Everyone waited. Tabby purred. Zeke scratched at his tie. No one did a trick. Uh-oh, said Mr. Putter. Oh dear, said Mrs. Teaberry. Suddenly, the school bell began to ring. Dong! It was very loud. Tabby jumped straight up in the air. She landed on a little girl's lap in the front row. The little girl screamed. Dong! Zeke jumped straight up in the air. He landed in a box of cupcakes. Don't eat all the cupcakes, the teacher yelled. Dong! Zeke ate all the cupcakes. Then Zeke did a trick. It was a good trick. Tabby did it too. It was a disappearing trick. And that was the end of show and tell. Chapter six, the worst ever. Back home, Mr. Putter made tea for Mrs. Teaberry while Tabby and Zeke napped. They looked at Zeke. His tie was full of cupcake. They looked at Tabby. Her tail was quite festive. Mr. Putter smiled. Mrs. Teaberry smiled. Then they started laughing. It had been the worst show and tell ever, but they were happy. Mr. Putter got to go to school and Tabby and Zeke learned a few new tricks. Dear first graders, sorry about show and tell. Please accept our cupcakes and apologies. Yours truly, Mrs. Teaberry and Mr. Putter. <laughs>